So I'm going to start today with um, what I'm ambitiously going to call a series. I'm not sure. <laughs> how far we'll get with it uh i am not an expert whatsoever if you know anything about me we've only been caravanning for nine months so uh do bear with me i'm not trying to be an expert on any level but i do know what it feels like to have absolutely no clue what anyone is talking about whatsoever okay so nine months ago that was me now i know what all these things mean i know what the technical stuff means i know what's relevant to me and what's not relevant to me nine months ago i was trying to just take in everything everything that i needed to know so today i'm just going to focus on the technical jargon if you like the stuff that people talk about so calmly and you know assume that you know what it means if you were like me nine months ago no do not have a clue <sighs> I feel your pain okay so I'm just gonna walk through some of the technical stuff that threw me sideways so the first thing we're going to talk about today is the M-I-R-O okay so the M-I-R-O is the mass in running order okay sometimes referred to as M-R-O so we take out the in mass running order it basically means what your caravan looked like and weighed when it left the factory so when completely empty um nothing attached to it that is what your miro is okay now your caravan is never probably going to be in that state ever again so for me don't worry about it too much but that's what it means okay so if you ever hear the mro or the miro Hmm, it's getting from okay thanks but you know i need more than that so what you will likely need to know is the m t p l m okay <sighs> why so confusing i do not know it basically stands for maximum technically permissible laden mass it just basically means once your caravan uh is full not full obviously when you arrive on site but just if you've added a motor mover to it sometimes spare tires aren't even included in this so everything from gas bottles to motor movers to you know everything you've got in it now ideally you should load up your car and not your caravan your caravan ideally should be empty and your car should be full obviously that doesn't happen necessarily and people will leave in their crockery <gasps> shock um and some food <laughs> and the cutlery you don't necessarily need to take everything out of your caravan into the car um but you want to keep it as a minimum generally is the general rule but the mtplm is your figure that is the figure of your car is your caravan sorry is allowed to be filled while being towed now this is where you will hear the word payload what's the payload um i didn't ask i what is payload i did not know okay so payload is basically the difference between the miro and the mtplm okay and it's generally depending on the caravan I don't know between 150 165 a bit more a bit less but that is basically all the things that you can add to your caravan and still be able to pull it um, safely okay you cannot go over the MTPLM so that is the figure you really do need to know the payload is a rough not a rough idea the payload is the amount that you can then put into the caravan okay so if you bear in mind how much your motor mover weighs if you've had one fitted um and that can be ugh, quite a few kilos all by itself okay so 165 can get eaten up quite quickly if you are just putting everything in the caravan so the you know you generally try not to fill your caravan too much but you need to know what your payload is so that you can add it in some people make full spreadsheets of okay what they can fit in the car and what they cut with the caravan and what they can't for most of us and you'll find this a lot a lot of caravanners live in that gray area um which is the dangerous end of things and the end that gets so confusing if you're new to it um because a lot of even experienced caravanners if they were pulled over would not be within the realms of you know safe we get a little bit if you've been caravanning for 10 years you might still have something that gets taken away with you you know every summer that you've not used for 10 years but it just gets added to and added to and some caravanners do tend to have quite a lot in their caravans and you're like i'm sure that's probably more than your payload uh, but anyway payload is 
the amount you can stuff into your caravan or add to your caravan and still pull it safely. OK, so we now move on to the curb weight of your car. OK, and the maximum towing limit. OK, now do not get confused if your maximum towing limit on your car is 1600 kilos. That doesn't mean you can just, oh, OK, fine, my car can pull 1,600 kilos. I'll go look for a 1,600 kilo caravan. There is a thing called curb weight, which will mess you up slightly if your car is light, lighter than um, <laughs> it says it can pull. Because they look for a figure of 85%. Your caravan, when it's being pulled, your MTPLM should not be more than 85% of the curb weight of your car. OK? Um, so the figure of your car needs to be either a nice big heavy car, um, or it needs to, you need to be looking at a lighter caravan. Um, so for us, we had quite a light car, um, <laughs> which is why we ended up in a slightly gray area that we shouldn't have been in. And we have recently upgraded our car, but that's another video. Um, so your curb weight of your car OK, is a really important figure because that will tell you um, how much really safely you can pull your caravan. Now, another grey area coming up, guys. Most caravan, if you're an experienced caravan, you can pull more than 85 percent. It's a grey area. <laughs> it's an it's an advisory. It's a recommended. It is not necessarily a legal requirement. So, Again, it is pushed sometimes by caravanners, um, but your caravan should never weigh more than 100% of your car. You should never be putting a caravan that is heavier than your car. But another grey area, there is some debate on the fact that new cars have a lot of power and are able to pull caravans quite safely and quite well and efficiently. But they're nowadays coming up lighter. The cars are coming up lighter. So there is some debate around whether the curb weight thing is out of date. But the general consensus is if you stick to 85% of the curb weight of your car, you will be, you know, in a safer place. OK, so that is generally what you aim for. <sighs> Last final thing. <laughs> is the towing limit of your driving license if you pass your test after 1997 it's irrelevant how much your car can pull how heavy your car is how heavy your caravan is how all of that matching if both of the things together come to more than three and a half thousand kilos three five zero zero is the figure that you are allowed to pull anything over that and you are technically illegal there's no more gray areas now you're technically over the limit that your driving license says you can pull so again add up both of those things together to find out the caravan that is right for you please please ch check out you know your figures before you start and this brings me to my final point, OK? If all of this has confused you and I've lost you all and you think, well, that's it then. I'm not doing caravanning. It's too confusing. I don't understand any of it and I'll never get it right. Do me a favour. Just go on to a tow car matching site, OK? That's all you need to do. You don't even need to worry about your MTPLM or your curb weight or this or that or the other. All you need to do is put your car in, your caravan in and it will tell you whether it's one star out of five do not drive this this is dangerous five stars out of five you know it's a good match three stars out of five it's a moderate match it will tell you okay so we use an amazing site called towcar.info it's a free site so we did abuse it quite a lot because i was obsessed with checking every caravan uh constantly so um i did abuse it slightly but they do ask for a donation because obviously somebody has created that site somebody's created the algorithms the, the you know the, the programming that goes into that stuff i don't know anything about there are others that will give you a, a report for you give them the caravan and the car and they will give you a report I was just obsessing about just a trillion different, you know, variations. So I was using uh, towcar.info a bit too much, probably. Um, but it is technically free. But obviously, do be respectful that they would ask you for a donation for the time um, that it takes to create a website like that. But that 
will save your life. So all the things I have just talked about, okay, you will not need to worry about if you just match your car and your caravan on a matching site, okay? The one thing they will not tell you, I not automatically anyway, I'm not sure, maybe further down the list, because you do get a, quite a long list of, you know, all, all the, the measurements, they may not tell you the actual maximum weight together. So if you do have a, uh, a post-1997 license and your limit is 3,500 kilos uh, of towing limit, you may need to double check that. But if you are getting way laid and just laden down with all the technical side of things, that is my advice to you. Everything I've just told you, don't worry about it. Just put it on a tow car website, um, tow matching website, and let it do it for you, okay? And eventually, all these terms, the payload, the MTPLM, the curb weight, all of that will make total sense to you. Uh, but until that point, you don't need to worry. Just go on a website, have it matched, and make sure you are driving your caravan safely. All right? So, Next time, if this does become a series, uh, <laughs> I will share some more of my wondrous gifts. But again, I will disclaim, I am not an expert. Please do check out other experts and just take in information. That's what I did um, for so long, um, being new to caravanning. Uh, but it doesn't have to be overwhelming. So I hope I've helped you today. <laughs>